All right, let's continue here. So now I'm going to do another example, but with vertical or forces in a vertical circle. Okay. So it says here some crazy fighter pilot, so ma uh, of mass 70 kilograms, mass equals 70, in some movie does a nose dive that is nearly circular. Nearly circular is just going to mean we're going to treat this as a circle. Okay. So let's say here's your airplane, whatever. It's got fire coming out of here, and you're flying this way. And all of a sudden you do a nose dive. A nose dive looks like this, something like that, right? So you go and you just kind of do a, you go down like that. Nearly circular means that this thing forms, um, is forms the part of a circle, right? So, and I'm telling you that the speed at the bottom right here is v equals 80. You might remember, you might remember that my velocity in a circle is always tangential. So if I'm at the bottom of a circle coming from here, then the velocity is going to look like this. If you were to continue like this, the velocity would have been going up, but you actually went off this way. So it's always tangential to the path. So that means that this velocity at the bottom looks like this, okay? That's the velocity um, at the bottom. And I wanna know what is his centripetal acceleration? Let's find that real quick. AC is just, uh, I'm in a circle, so I'm just going to try V squared over R. And I actually have these numbers. So it's 80 squared over 300. And 80 squared over 300 gives me 21.3 meters per second squared. Okay. Now, this is the acceleration of the airplane, which is the same as the acceleration of the pilot. Just to be clear, so I'm just going to call that A. They're moving together as a system. Okay? Next thing is to ask for his apparent weight. Apparent weight means normal. Means normal. So what is the normal on the pilot at that point? Normal is a force, and the only way you're always going to find normal is by using F equals MA. So sum of all forces in the centripetal direction on the pilot is mass of the pilot times the acceleration of the pilot, which is a centripetal acceleration. What are the forces on him? Well, when he's down here and his velocity is this way, he obviously has mg down. And this might be tricky to see, but the pilot is on the airplane and it's being pushed up by the seat, right? So you're sitting there and then you have a normal force here. Which one of these forces are gonna be greater? Well, since you are going in a circle and you have to have acceleration towards the middle, that's how you turn, right? Then that means that your normal force must be greater than your mg, okay? In a circle, the positive force is always going to be greater than the negative force because positive is towards the circle, you're going that way, um, and negative is away from the circle. So here, normal will be um, greater than mg. But let's solve this. So I have normal positive plus mg negative mass of pilot, which is 70. Let's just write MA here for now. So I can show you that normal, which is what I'm looking for, is just MA plus MG. So it's 70, A is 21.3, 70, G is 9.8. And you do this, you plug this all together, and the answer is 2180 newtons is his normal force. Um, if you were to calculate his mg, his mg would be roughly 790. Um, his mg would be about 790. And notice how this is much bigger as we expected. All right. So that's it for this one. I just have one last point to make right here at the end. Centripetal force is not a force in nature. For example, gravity or the force of gravity or weight is a force in nature. Friction is a force in nature. Normal is a force in nature. You push against the surface, the surface pushes back. Tension is a force in nature and so on and so forth. Centripetal force is an indication that this force in the centripetal direction. So normal becomes centripetal or is categorized as a centripetal force. Tension might be a centripetal force. But centripetal force itself is not a unique force. It's not a thing. It's just sort of a type of force or a, a indication of direction of force, okay? So you might label a force as centripetal but centripetal force in itself is not anything, okay? Um, a, another force that is actually a force of nature will be categorized as a centripetal force. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that's it for this one, guys.